Welcome. We are back with another face of the franchise. With one of the best QBs in the league, DJ McDaniels. Against a formidable opponent of the San Francisco 49ers. We are at home. We are at the Mercedes-Benz Superdome for game day. It's the Atlanta Falcons taking on the San Francisco 49ers. No one cares about them. Here we go. Oh, they scored first. Falcons now to get the football for the first time. Okay. Right. Now a play fake here on first down. Touchdown. He's going to find Edwards open downfield. Touchdown. I like I, I just walked right to the sideline because there you go. First in the league to reach 30 touchdown passes this year. Did that on the last drive, and he starts here with a first down. They'll try and start this drive in the air. That's the boy Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. This defense for the Niners, they were very strong last week in the win over Carolina. And no matter what's done throughout a ball game, it always comes back to blocking and tackling. Oh, that one hand diving grab. It's elite. Just how difficult it is to tackle, especially open field. Very few missed tackles on tape that I saw last game. This team does a nice job of getting their opponents on the ground. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. He'll look to throw. Straight to London. Easy. This pass is caught by London. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. We're gonna feed London now. Oh, he still caught it. He'll get this one down near the 20 yard line. Just shoot of the 20. They go right back to him for 20 and a first. As we watch London get that first down, it seems almost unfair about what he can do on a field. Here's a guy six four, loves to play over the rim and dunk on defenders, and can work out of the slot as well as outside the numbers. That's a big reason why he went eighth overall. Here we go. First receiver taken in a lower class. These two teams all tied after one. Second and one. Ah. And that one off the mark behind him, incomplete. Drake London, his <clears> intended <throat> target, and it's third and short. And here, Charles, is a look at the inactive, some of the guys that are out today due to injury. Yeah, and this is where the preseason work comes into play for some of those backups. It's not just them getting some experience on the field, but preparing each week in practice as if they were going uh, to play. That was like that on your team, almost disastrous. Back-to-back -back incompletions of what was once a nice drive stalled out here. I'm going to give credit to the secondary partner. Never gave up as they gave up a few yards, and they came through on that play to deny that pass. All right, it's the first down. The and the Falcons are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive. Let's go. Points. No surprise to see him running again here. It's something he's done throughout this season, and that run puts him over 500 yards on the ground for the year. He's got to be thinking to himself, if I'm already at 500, what's to stop me from going for a thousand? And he is into the end zone. <laughs> Might as well do it to myself, right? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I'm strong. Look at me. As they have taken the lead. Saw the open. And I feel flew in. Because it was his arm that got his team down to that point. Yes. That finished the deal. Give him credit for making it happen. 
Here we go. We're buzzing right now. Now out comes their leader and the captain of this offense back onto the field. He's thrown for a touchdown. Let's go, bud. We're buzzing. We're buzzing. We're buzzing. And because of that, that puts a defense back on its heels. Because normally you just think, okay, he's going to... Ah, how did he not secure that? But when he's able to either escape or run with the ball design plays... Cordell, I could just lob it to him if I want to. Forget about the arm, that's for sure. He's got a rifle one deep left side. Attaboy, Cordell. Inside the 35. And he's going to get this down near the 25. Every defensive staff has on limiting explosive plays. <laughs> Job not so well done there. Yeah, they talk about it all the time. A lot harder to stop, though, isn't it? And when you think of an explosive play, most offensive staffs define them as passes. Oh, London, this is yours, bud. London, this is yours. That's that number there. Oh, come on. Incomplete. Try to dial up the long way out there. Come on. So this game of our Charles, you know, the talk of the NFL world all week. Yo, Pitts, it's your prime time. Right to the end zone, Kyle. Right to the end zone. Boom. Yes. One team undefeated for a while. But two teams like this. And I remember in preseason, you looked at schedules and said, I think these two are on a collision course. It'll be interesting to see if they actually get there. And they did. And to me, the winner of this game has to wear the crown of Super Bowl. Oh, my God. God, that was detrimental. This should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. The six yard line, the line of scrimmage on second. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay, okay. London. What? Incomplete. All right, Captain. It's batting down the hatches time defensively. Dodge two pass attempts to the end zone. Now, what do you think they're going to try and dial up on third and goal? Well, knowing them and knowing what we've just seen, I think they're throwing it again, don't you? I think you have to. I think in this situation, you've kind of run out of your running plays. Fire another one into the end zone. That is his caught for a <laughs> He was the intended receiver, but I'll take it. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And they are able to add on to their... <laughs> I was throwing it to Kyle Pitts, but if Edwards wants to catch it, then... <laughs> Go ahead, bud. <laughs> Whatever works. Their quarterback leading this offense back out. He's thrown for two touchdowns. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Easy. Throw left side. There's London. Easy. And they've got it well across midfield down to the 40 before it's all said and done. It's a gain of 35. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield to the 40 now for first and 10. They're going to look to throw. We go, Kyle. Side, get those yards. Pass. And he's going to get this down near the 20 yard line. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. On first down, he'll drop to throw. And that is incomplete. Yeah, let's go for the field goal then. Yeah, let's go for the field goal. Yeah, they're gonna need a few more plays like that to get their confidence. Yeah, there you go. Got the ball back. Remember, they're riding that five game winning streak. Alright, I'm gonna try to just carry this ball now. Um, alright, let's go on. Alright, I'll sneak it through here. I'll sneak it through here. Sneak it through here. There you go. We start running the ball now. They're not ready for these jukes. They're not ready for the jukes. They'll look to throw here on first down. Escaping the pressure right. They're not, they, he wasn't ready for that spin move. He's been making 
himself a weapon as a runner, and the results, they've been welcomed by his offense. My question is about the defense we're watching right now, partner. Even after he got him with a scramble earlier this drive, they still aren't devoting enough attention to him. I would expect that after that carry, yeah. a much better job going forward. Come on. on no way. And this is dropped. Oh, it's incomplete. He had a big game. Come on, London. You got to secure that win. ball. He'll try again with the arm here. Kyle Pitts. What? Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Fine. As expected, he's gone to a I'll do it myself. Time, one has slipped from his grasp. I'll bet he's back to up, him, though. Up, he's an up, 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 up. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't worry about it. We're fine. Who cares? Who cares? Didn't even score, so we're fine. Let's give the running back some work now. Start to drive here on the ground with Patterson. And he's got this one across midfield into 49er territory. It's a six yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. On second down, a run with Patterson. And a strong run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 35. 12 yards is the pickup. Good for a first down for the Falcons. First and ten, it's Patterson. Oh, able to avoid him. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. In my book, that's running the ball well. Uh, with come on, let's go. About him keeping the clock moving, staying in bounds. Yeah, even though it's the third quarter, you're thinking ahead, aren't you? This is Here we go. Bounce in. First down. Perfect. It's not just end of the half situations that you worry about the clock. It's throughout the game, and with a lead, stay in bounds. Just chew out this quarter. Oh, yeah. Another first down. On the door now. There's a good run there. Going to take this to about the 10 yard line. 10 more there, and another first down. <laughs> Quarter's done. Back now here on EA Sports. I'm just going to keep beating it. Time has run out on this third quarter. Once more, they turn to Patterson. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. A strong toss. Else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. On second, Touchdown. Here's Algier. And he gets in. Touchdown, Atlanta. Tyler Algier. His third rushing touchdown of the year. And the Falcons add on to their lead, and it's looking like that win streak is going to extend another week. Come on, San Francisco, do something. The Falcons offense set to go. Big stop on the turnover on downs to get the football back, and now it's just all about salting this one away. Yeah, just slowly bleed the clock away. Clock's definitely on your side. And, you know, when we talk about analytics in the game, what is this one? The advanced win metrics? There you go. Because if you take care of the football here, bleed the clock down for the about 95% chance of winning. Yeah, I'd say 95 or better. I, and I know you always let's say get, Let's get your touchdown, Cordell. protecting the football at this point. And knowing that the defensive guys, they're coming after the ball. Out of B. They want to knock it free. And he's got this down to the 35. 72 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. Back to back good plays have him on the move on first down. On first down, going back to Patterson. Down to about the 32. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. Here's a second and seven. And he'll complete this one to Patterson. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. The Falcon passing game looking good on this drive as they get the first down. Give to Patterson running to the right. And he's going to push his way down to about the 20. Right, here we go. 
Give him seven yards on the carry, and it will take us to the two-minute warning. So it's Falcon football as we welcome you back. Second down and three. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Melt away these final couple of minutes and put this one in the left-hand column. First down. They're inside the ten as he's brought down at the nine. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. They'll run with Patterson. Showed off the toughness, but still corralled shy of the five at the six. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. The six-yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. Here's Patterson again. And he'll take it into the Let's go. Atta boy, Cordell. You got your TD. Atta B. That's what we work for. It's what we work for in practice, bud. See? I'm, I'm, I'm giving my running backs reps. Everyone's saying I pass the ball too much, but hey. I'm giving them some reps. And here now come the Falcons. And this one all over but the shouting, you might say. Now there's one timeout remaining defensively, but... like he'll throw here steps away to his left and he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. And now the Niners gonna signal for their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds I'm actually mad the they're actually making it close time to make him pay a little bit you should never burn that timeout 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 I'm gonna burn one to use the first of their timeouts. You ready? They're, they're not ready for this play. They're not ready for this one. They go back. Rush down. Touchdown. I told you they're not ready for that. Ooh. Dancing on their grave. I got it. A dive. And it's in. Touchdown. Start to consider that this undefeated streak of theirs is going to be safe for another week. And partner, you don't make it this far into a season without a loss unless you're getting contributions from both sides of the ball. All right, y'all. Good win. Undefeated streak still alive. I will catch y'all in the next one, right? Peace.